people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people Wagwan viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel once again people much love and appreciation as usual so today people news coming out of guyana yes people news coming out of guyana today he's saying that a family was tied up and beaten by armed gang members yes you heard that correctly so i'm getting this news article from guyana daily news where it goes on to say a family was tied up beaten by armed gang in parfaité harmony this morning not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly people just correct me in the comment section so it goes on to say just after four o'clock this morning as singh was preparing to leave for work he noticed footprints at his front door before he could react five heavily armed bandits pounced on him the fisherman, his wife and kids were tied up, gagged and beaten by the thieves who ransacked the entire house. They escaped with 500,000 in cash, jewelry, laptops and high valuables. Singh suffered injuries to his head after being gun butted. His wife's face was swollen and the kids were slapped around as the men claim they came for the millions. According to the man's sister, he is just an ordinary fisherman selling at the La Petence market on Sundays to make his living. The police processed the scene moments ago, taking statements from the victims. As bandits go on the rampage, the situation in Parafate Harmony is deteriorating. Residents have often called on the authorities to better secure the community as they remain in constant danger of attacks that is crazy you know people if you know say yeah walk out their house and all of a sudden you see footprints and then five men just come in and tie you up beat you up it's a crazy crazy situation but you know sometimes people just have to keep an eye open of your surroundings because you always have people out there watching you and as you said they said they come for their millions and they probably was watching this fisherman thinking this fisherman had millions of dollars is me they're just on the outside looking in and just thinking and assuming that this man is wealthy and that's not the case so i'm gonna read you know some comments what people have to say one person say i say and will maintain when somebody get robbed, the police should investigate the victim's family first before looking outside. It's always somebody, either wife, husband, children, or some cousin or some family member of that victim that does the set up. As sad as that might sound, it is often true. And that is so correct. You can't leave out family members because sometimes family members are the main one them. I set up other people to come rob you and do all sort of things with you. You can't leave them out. Another person goes on to say, well, it have to be some family members behind this. And why did they say they come for the millions is because some family members give that information out or is either some close friends of that person. Or that's what I say, people like it has to be somebody that them know that is around them and probably see what I'm going because you're not going to have the random people that say live on the east side come on the west side to come rob you and talk about and come for the millions somebody gives out information and tell them what I'm going tell them that you have a lot of money some information given out it's just not just some random attacks you see me because if it was random attacks why they come to this person's house knowing that they so-called have millions of dollars another person goes on to say the police can only do their job to arrest these bandits it's the justice system that is rotten in no time these criminals will be on the road again robbing ramsacking people's homes and killing crazy as that sound it's it's true people 
Another person goes on to say, I am baffled as to where these people getting these guns from. Imagine a station in poverty and crime is rising daily. The community needs to come together and organize a day and night patrol in collaboration with the police. The other sad thing is that there are actually people out there who protect and support these criminals, which is facts. Facts, people. You have people who really and truly support these criminals to the fullest. You see me? Yo, people, we can't just sit around and make these criminals just take over our community like that. We have to come together as a unit. And as I said, with the help of the police, we have to get rid of these criminals out of our community. These are the criminals that are messing up our community. Killing, robbing people, innocent people, hardworking people at that. And for the people who are actually hiding these criminals, you are a criminal yourself. You are a criminal yourself, knowing that these terrorists are going out there and robbing innocent people. And y'all are hiding them from police. Says a lot about your personality, your morals. But people, once I get more information on this, I will give you guys an update on what's going on. Alright, much love and appreciation. Big up yourself. Alright.